A small difference in fees can add up to a substantial difference in your investment returns. Joining us this morning with more on how to optimize your portfolio's performance is Peter Tshisheki from Everything Financial. Good morning, Peter. Good to see you. You there. Good morning. So there are a lot of things, acronyms that are a little hard to understand. So we hear about something called DSC fees. What exactly are they? Earned sales commission fees. There's nothing really deferred about them because you're the one who's paying them being the, the person who buys the investment. And if you go to move the investment or take money out of the investment, you're paying the fee, but the salesperson uh, doesn't lose anything. They still got their commission. Okay, so why would someone sell uh, an investment like that for an RI, RRIF, which is a registered retirement income fund? Right, the RSP, once you start taking income from it. Mm. Uh, I, I think the majority of salespeople out there wouldn't sell it, um, but if someone does sell it, it's straight for one reason, straight up commission right at the beginning. They get their, it's a 5% commission. Now that doesn't mean the salesperson got 5% commission, they got a portion of it because their company probably took some, but they took it str strictly for commission right off the bat, getting paid, and that's, that's the only reason they would take something like that, especially for an RRIF. I could see it with a younger person, maybe. The key is not the fee, really. And this is the problem sometimes people criticize me because I'm going on about fees. The key is making sure the fee is disclosed to the person who's buying the product and making sure they understand what the fees are, not in fine little tiny print, but someone actually explaining the fee properly and then maybe giving it to you in writing in an email before you make your decision that would be good too so the an rrif it's an older person they need time to digest that and understand it yeah i don't think you have to be an older person to try to um, try to digest it i think that i would need time to digest that as well um, absolutely what can you do if you're put into something like that and you didn't agree to it um write the company go to the person's supervisor go to their their manager regional manager uh, and, and mutual fund people that have these managers, go write them a letter. And there's been cases recently uh, with one company where the, the company doesn't really support these anymore. They advise not to do it, so good for them. And they actually reversed um, all the fees for a couple. So you have to fight. But the key is really one thing for people, buyer beware, but a little more than buyer beware really, is never make a decision until you get the information from the meeting in writing. And that's a good thing. And one question I always ask, you know, I always say, teach the people to ask the questions they didn't even know they're supposed to ask. What are my fees? Get those disclosed in writing, all fees, and ask, are these all the fees? And then find out, because in the case where it got reversed, the person did ask that question and they weren't told about the fees, and then the company did the right thing and they reversed them. Okay, so ask the question, what are my fees? Um, how do these fees affect your ability to withdraw? Oh, huge because those fees can be very high right at the beginning um you know four or five percent of your money so you're going to take a withdrawal and you're losing a chunk of money right off the top but those fees can go on for seven years sometimes eight but that's rare but you know five to seven years those fees are still high so what if you don't want to deal with that company anymore you can't even transfer your money somewhere in this case the person was 73 years old they said and they said in the email by the time I die, you know, there'll still be fees on the plan, which could happen. So you can't even move to another company if the person's really ignoring you and doing a bad job. You're really handcuffed by fees, and it's your money. You should have some choice with your money and some say. So, again, buyer beware a little bit, but ask the question and get the answer in writing. Yeah, good advice as always. Peter Shashaki with Everything Financial. Thanks for joining us this morning, Peter. Have a great day. You too, Gary. Have a great day.